Hey everyone, it's Nick G with GlobalCurrencyReset.net. What we're going to do today is we're just going to review one of these dinar sites I check out uh, from time to time. It's called Dinar Recaps. The uh, website is www.dinarrecaps.com. And there's two R's. There's R for dinar and R for recaps. So don't get that mixed up thinking it's one R. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just check this site out real quick because a lot of people, um, you know, just will want to look for a good resource and I'm going to give you the pros, I'll give you the cons, and I'll just give you um, some other information. So we're here right now on their uh, blog page. Uh, if you click um, archive, you can see that there's all these nice archives here. It goes over different categories, different people talking, like Dave Schmidt, who I love to listen to. You can click that and you get all of his information. Um, these are all the monthly blog posts. And if you look, this site's been online for a while. I mean, it goes back to May 2011. Um, if you've been to my site here, globalcurrencyreset.net, it's all, it, it was. I think I just reserved the domain in December. I did a lot of research on uh, the reset, and the site actually started to get built sometime. Um, it, it had to be around early, early February, if not late in January, is when I actually started building this site. I'm sure you can go to archive.org to check on that. But yeah, the site is pretty new, and I've got a link here for Dinar Recaps. So I'm just, I'm just doing a little. Uh, video for it. I'm going to be posting it here just because I like to do reviews of different sites. Um, so yeah, so you have a nice little monthly blog postings here and what's really cool is I was actually just searching up here in the top for uh, my site here Global Currency Reset. Oh, I didn't hit, oh I did hit enter. My internet's a little slow. Okay, so let that load up and um, it's going to show you anytime you search you can just search for uh, any topics that might come up. So if you have questions about post RV, what you need to do, you could just search in post RV in here, and it'll it'll bring up some information about uh, post RV, which will be very helpful for, to a lot of people, I'm sure. Uh, there's also this really awesome bulletin board right here, and got a lot of information here about annuities, bank packages, investing, a lot of things to consider. So that's awesome. Um, we have a question and answer section here. So you can just go over questions that they get a lot. Maybe your question's on here, maybe not. But you can always submit a question, I'm sure. You could just contact them and ask them, see if they can help out. Um, here's another link here for wise words. I'm just kind of going through the site real briefly so you can guys can check this out with me. Just some information, how to keep your heart healthy. There's, there's a lot of other good stuff there. Uh, what people are saying. There's all the real positive uh, reviews, what people are saying about Dinar Recaps, you know, great things that people are hearing about. I just love you. Thanks. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, and then we were talking about Post RV. Here's the link here. So it hasn't been updated since January 20th. I'm sorry, August 20th. I can't read, it looks like. <laughs> but uh, it'll have some information here about bank packages, Post RV stuff. So, And then there's a link for their newsletter right there, powered by Aweber. Um, we've got one too, so if you go to our site, uh, globalcurrencyreset.net, oh look, there it is right there, the Aweber. Just click the subscribe button right there, subscribe to newsletter, and you get some more information about the reset. Um, back to Dinar Recaps, uh, we were doing that search earlier for Global Currency Reset, and uh, they actually posted my article right here, and I thought that was really nice of them, so thanks guys for posting the article. Yep, there's my website right there. And then going back to their site, uh, it's, there's a button here for recap emails if you want to get updates from them. Just the newsletter, we kind of just discussed that. Uh, different news feeds, which is actually something that I got off of their site, which I'm thinking of doing for my own, is maybe trying to put links to web pages that have been translated from Iraqi, well, I say Iraqi, but Iraqi web pages that are in Arabic translated to English. In fact, let me go ahead and show you one real quick. Um, I have a website that I will typically check out and I translate it uh, into English just because it's just for me it's it's just important to kind of understand what's happening everywhere um, I think we've actually well before we go to that let me just show you this we've gone into the Ministry of Planning website once before in a previous video I just want to go there again um, this is the Republic of Iraq Ministry of Planning here's the website it's um, mop.gov.iq uh, so it's the Ministry of 
planning for Iraq and you scroll to the bottom and this is the part that I had emphasized a while back about how they want the rate to be one dollar and thirteen cents per dinar okay and it said they're gonna keep that price on for three years until it's re appreciated so anybody saying you're gonna get like a twenty dollar rate that's uh, that's incorrect okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and just a second I'm gonna load up one of the uh, Iraqi web pages that I had found all right we're back so this is the web page I was telling you about you can see up here the Google translations from Arabic to English it says translate in safe mode you, you don't really have to worry about that that's a lot of times when you have JavaScript or you have moving images like this I mean as you guys know the way they read in Arabic is they read right to left instead of left to right so everything's translated opposite that's why the scroll moves in the opposite direction not what you're used to so um, there's the website right there you can see it and the good thing about this is it'll automatically translate so if I go here and click economy and business Google's gonna go ahead and go to that page and it's automatically gonna be translated to English now this is an Arabic web page so some of you guys aren't used to this it's very simple they automatically will translate a web page for you. I'm going to show you the original web page just so you guys can see. This is what the web page looks like in English. And as I said, Arabic is read um, from right to left. Kind of like Japanese, kind of like Hebrew. A lot of countries, they that's just the way they're written. So then you're going to click translation, um, and it's going to go back into English. Some of you folks have never seen this done before. Um, it's just I just encourage you, if you find a web page that's like this, that's in another language, you should translate it and just kind of see what they're saying. Don't just, you know, listen to the regular news here in the States. You know, do some of your own research. You, know, you don't have to sit there all day, watch CNN and hear about, you know, a missing plane or hear about Russia and Crimea. You know, there's other things you guys can do with your time. You can actually do your own research. And I encourage you, I, I honestly don't watch CNN. I don't have regular television. We just don't watch that. It doesn't. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just mainly a bunch of talking points, and then you have drug ads. I mean, that's all the commercials typically are nowadays. I mean, it doesn't matter what news show you're watching. So why don't you just do your own research? Really think for yourself. Be your own person. Don't. You don't have to rely on other people to bring you the news. You don't even have to rely on me to bring you the news. You guys can do your own research. I just kind of go out of my way because I think it's important for not only my own understanding but for other people to know what's going on with the whole global currency reset situation because it does affect everyone's lives. So just once again, there's there's one of the web pages that is normally in Arabic, and it's an Iraqi site that they will translate into English for you. Just you just go to Google Translate, type in the web page, and they'll translate it. Okay, continuing back to dinar recaps, um, they got the news feed. Um, I think that's where we're at right now. Yeah, we're at Iraqi news recaps. So this hasn't been updated in a little bit. Um, Okay, there's the news feeds that I think we just we just viewed that. One year anniversary. That's right, because we said that their website was in June 2011. Awesome pictures here. I actually put these site these pictures on my website. Um, yeah, on the Dinar recaps link here, I put I put a little review with their picture there. Uh, some of the ads that are running on their site. We all have to have ads. We gotta, we gotta make, make money to keep our websites up. Uh, they have a contact us page here, so this is great. Maybe you guys, like we were talking about earlier, if you have questions to ask them, I'm sure they wouldn't mind uh, responding to you. <laughs> That's funny. They got a little snail mail address in case you want to go the old-fashioned route. Uh, they have a disclaimer. This is, this is really good to have one of those on your site. Um, they have an about us page which is really cool. I saw this and I thought this was great. It's, it said they've, they've, they're investors just like us. So anybody who's got Dinar, you know, this is a good site because they will tell you that they're investors. They're, they're, they really want to get all the information. Um, we saw the Contact Us page. And all right, I think that's it. I think that's it for the whole site. So yeah, this is a good site, guys. I recommend it. Um, it's actually given me some ideas to do if I can't do a feed to do something where we can get more of the uh, more of the Iraqi news. So I mean, you're looking at the site right now. It's Thursday, March 27, 2014. I might be putting a link somewhere up here for news uh, in Iraq. I might do it up here. 
um, I've got some like Lindsay Williams information I racked in our news. I might just do um, a, tr a button that says translated from Arabic. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for my site, please let me know. This is a new website. It's only about three months old. And I'm really looking forward to comments, seeing if there's anything I can do to maybe add some information. I had a woman recently on Facebook. She told me she would like me to do some uh she would like me to add some information about um, what could be the new world reserve currency. So you guys probably already know that I like to promote that big reset book. So I actually have a link on my home page for the big reset book. When you click that link right up there, it'll bring you to this web page. And I'm sure you've seen this book before. Um, the link to the book is globalcurrencyreset.net forward slash the big reset. And then you could actually purchase this book off Amazon. However, let's say you don't want to purchase it, you just want to look at it. Well, I actually, if you click this button up here, it's going to open up um, and you're going to have the ability to actually look at the book before you buy it. I have one of the chapters in the book here. There's a table of contents and you see the most important chapter that you're probably going to want to read right away is this chapter, The Big Reset. So I actually have that chapter right here in the book. See? So you guys go to my website. You can go ahead and download this book right now. And hopefully that will be something you guys will have a chance to look at. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for now. You know, I just really wanted to just do a, um, a review of this site that I thought was really interesting. And I was happy to see that they actually posted my article. So if you guys are on Dinar Recaps, thanks a lot from, uh, from Nick and Global Currency Reset. Thanks for posting my article on you. And um, folks, if there's anything I can do, let me know. Bye.